To Australians, Anzac is not a religion, but I'd like to make a parallel here just for a second, so bear with me. They say one of the problems with organised religion is you can get people to a service, and even every week they'll attend a service, but it's making sure that someone lives it every day of their life. I wonder if the same thing can happen with Anzac. I've now seen at Gallipoli and seen here in France, where one day almost all the people come out of the woodwork, we attend our dawn service, which is so precious and special to us Australians. But once the service is over, very quickly we disappear off and go about doing our thing. And while that's important, I believe that the Anzac spirit must go into relationship. We need relationship between our countries. I had a, a taxi driver in Turkey say to me, he said, I don't understand why you Australians come all of a sudden in two days and you come and you do your service and then you disappear. He said, if you want to come and pay homage to your fallen, why don't you do it quietly and spend time throughout the year? Now, I've often wondered about that. You know, we wouldn't need to be building roads through the battlefields and car parks if Australians only visited in their own time throughout the year. But I guess the Anzac service has now become the major focus of Anzac. And I would hate to see that here in Villa Bretonneux, where there already is a deep connection of relationship, that the service begins to overcrowd that relationship. We have a wonderful opportunity through the younger generation in the schools to really build on relationship, to make sure that the connection between the French and Australian people through Anzac is a lasting connection that is beyond just a service and just memories of our fallen soldiers. Well, I've come to the end of my time here in Villa Bretonneux, and although I still can't say that name properly, I do feel like I've made some connection here. It's been great to meet with Aussies and share their experience over this past week, but more so, it's been so good to learn about the French people, the local people in this town, and what has become a big connection with Australian people over the past 90 years. I must admit, I am really tired, but it's been a great experience, and I hope this video too has been a good experience for you just to learn a little bit more about the French people, our history here and the Anzac connection. I think I'll finish off with a word from some local school kids here, but from me it's au revoir. Never forget